morning, everybody. Race day morning. I made it. I made it. I can't believe I survived till now. <laughs> uh, very, very dark out still. It's about 6.20 in the morning. I really want to try and get to the race about an hour before it starts. So I just so I can set up my little base camp and my tent and my chair and all that good jazz and uh, get all situated and figure out where the hell I'm going. Um, the weather looks pretty goddamn ideal. Uh, no rain. Everything looks pretty dry. Um, with the exception, I, I don't think it's going to be that way on the trail, but that's okay because I got my gators. Yeah, I got my new gators. Very excited um, because I won't get shit in my shoes. Sorry for the uh, French. Uh, what else? Pretty pretty calm out there. Not really high winds. It's not forecasted to rain today. It's about mid 40s right now, and I think the highest it's going to get up to at the most would be uh, the low low 50s. Uh, perfect perfect racing weather. Um, even though I'm going to take this one nice and slow and steady and just get the job done. Don't really have a PR. What else? Uh, slept okay. Slept pretty hard. Had a lot of wacky dreams. Uh, very long day yesterday, signed my divorce papers, and boy, I gotta tell you, a tip to all you other runners out there, don't schedule the signing of your divorce papers on the night before the longest race that you've ever run is. Uh, probably a bad idea. But hey, what are you gonna do? Life doesn't usually happen uh, the way you want it to. <laughs> so, you know, what can you do? Um, but anyways, I'm excited. My little Honda Rav or Toyota Rav4 is loaded to the gills with goodies, and uh, I have changes of clothes, extra shoes, and gear, and all that good jazz. Um, so yeah, that's about it, man. But uh, we'll do some more recording when we get there. How about that? All right, see ya. So, I finally made it to the actual race start, I think. Uh, very crazy trying to find this place in the dark. Really glad I left early. Uh, race is going to start in about eight minutes. I think I've got everything I need. So, this is it. Um, thank you very much to everybody who helped me get here. Um, this was not a single event by any means. All right, we'll see you guys out there on the trails. Bye. First lap down. We are into the second lap right now. Ah, hilly course. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of treacherous on the downhills because there's lots of rocks. But uh, beautiful course. Perfect day. No sun. Uh, very comfortable weather. And uh, I just had my first fun time eating in the transition for the first time out of my nice big goody cooler. Feeling pretty good, uh, taking a very, very slow approach to the uphills and a lot of the downhills too. They said on the course description there was only one non-runnable hill. They lied. <laughs> but uh, we're still going and uh, I'll catch you guys in maybe another lap. See ya. Uh, second lap done. Starting to get a little tired. Of course, it's starting to thin out a little, which is nice. Uh, bad thing, 10, the 10, 20, and 30 Kers are on the course. Those suckers are fast, man. Crazy, crazy fast. And there's not a lot of room in some of the spots, so it gets a little tight. But I'm hanging in there. I'm working my way through my, my goodie cooler. So, that's all I got. We'll see you guys in about another six miles. Bye. Okay, survived to halfway, a little bit past 15 miles now. Uh, damn, I don't like hills at all. Uh, all right, second half of the 50K, here we come. 25K down, 25K left. See you guys in my few little, uh, blah, blah, I can't even talk. See you guys in a little while. Just found out I gotta start the last Lap by three, and this is lap number four. No, three, this is, oh man, delusional. But anyways, I gotta hustle my ass. Uh, so, 
a little more aggressive running this round. See you guys later. Bye. <sighs> Last lap. Uh, this is the hardest race I've ever done. Really hurting. Really pushed that fourth lap to make the cutoff time. And I did by an hour and a half, god damn it. I'm gonna finish this fucking thing. Uh, oh, tell your children to not grow up to be 50k runners. Uh, see you on the other side. Uh, just past the 26.2 mile mark. Okay, so I'm officially gone longer than I ever have now. And uh, I definitely see why uh, ultras are very um, intense. And I uh, find myself being very emotional right now. And uh, I just want you to know, Ryan, that I love you very much. And that... I'm going to make this new life the best that I can for you, and I will figure it out. And uh, you make me proud every day. Girl, I'm a quite a young man. Much better man than me. This race today is for you, buddy. I miss you. Can't wait to see you when this is all over. Okay, so let's finish this goddamn race. Well, that's a wrap. I actually survived. I finished in 7.07 and a little bit of change. I'm kind of bummed I missed getting something starting with a six by like seven minutes, but still very happy. What a hard race. Um, I went into this thinking it could be my most difficult race and I was right it definitely was the toughest race I've ever done um, not a fan of trail races to begin with and uh, the hills were just oh man they did nothing good for my peroneal tendonitis and my hamstring strain um, quite frankly I'm glad that I survived but surprised that I did <laughs> um, and it was a very, very emotional experience. Um, the older I get and the further I go, the more that I find uh, when everything else is stripped away from you and you are bare and you are on your last legs and just, you know, trying to make that relentless forward progress to finish, um, it makes you really understand and realize what's important in your life. Um, and uh, boy, did I feel that out there today. Um, just still very, very emotional and uh, very thankful that I got the opportunity to do that today. And uh, thankful for all of the good people in my life because there's a lot of good people. <clears throat> and uh, you know, it was a good day. It was a hard day. That's a long time to run, man. That's the longest I've ever run, and that is definitely the furthest that I've ever run. Don't know if I'll ever do one of these again. Um, it's just so exhausting. I mean, I finished the thing, and I thought to myself, how the hell does anybody go another 20 miles or another 70 miles after that? I mean, I wasn't hallucinating yet or, you know, that kind of thing, but there were moments out there that... I, Man, I, good thing there were flag markers and good thing that there was an actual, you know, somewhat well-worn trail. Um, I don't know. It's just trail runners and ultra marathoners are definitely a different breed than than us marathoners. But I, I guess I'm part of that now because I, I survived it. <sighs> you know, just a long, long day. Uh, I'm looking forward to going home, showering. On a very hot shower, stretching and rolling, and getting some dinner. That includes beer and maybe chicken wings. Oh, no, 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 maybe not chicken wings. I think I'm going to do Mexican. Yeah, beer and enchiladas. 
and salsa and chips. That sounds really good right now. But uh, thank you to everybody who supported me today in one, one shape or fashion. Um, there are just too many people to name. Um, you all know who you are, and you all know that uh, I really appreciate everything that you do for me in my life, and I love you all, and uh, thank you. And uh, if <clears throat> I could leave everybody with a, with a really good quote for the day, had a really shitty year, got a divorce yesterday, you know, it hasn't been granted yet, but it's a done deal, and uh, lots of ups and downs, and uh, physical stuff, but I thought of the quote today, when the devil says, you can't stand the storm, you reply, I am the storm. And that was me today. I wasn't going to quit, no matter what it took. And I did it. <laughs> finished on my own two feet, and I finished running. And that's all that matters, because I am the storm. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks.